So you were asked to find the limit of this sequence. Remember, the limit of this sequence is basically finding the limit of function x plus 5 divided by x raised to power x as x approaches infinity. If you don't remember these types of limits, you need to go back to, for example, one of calculus books like Stuart, Stuart chapter 3, which was differentiation. Section 6, which is basically using logarithms. So let us try to find the limit of this function. y is equal to x plus 5 divided by x raised to power x. What are you going to do? You're going to take ln of both sides. On the end of both sides. So ln of y is equal to ln of x plus 5 divided by x raised to power x. Remember from algebra, you learn that ln of a to power b is b times ln of a. So ln of y is equal to this exponent can be written in front of ln function. Now, if you take the limit of both sides, the limit of ln of y as x approaches infinity is going to be infinity times ln of 1 or infinity times 0, which doesn't give you any meaningful information. We need to make some adjustments here. ln of y can be written as ln of x plus 5 divided by x over 1 over x. This is basically pure algebra. From algebra, if you have a divided by 1 over b, it is a times b, right? So now what? Now take the limit again. Limit of ln of y as x approaches infinity becomes ln of 1 which is 0, divided by 1 over infinity, which is 0. We are happy here. Why? We can apply L'Hopital's rule. So ln of y is equal to applying L'Hopital rule for the top and down here. You are finding the limit of the derivative of ln of x plus 5 divided by x over 1 over x derivative as x approaches infinity. So remember that the ln of u derivative is u prime over u, right? You are finding the limit of the derivative of the numerator, the derivative of the denominator. So here on the numerator, what do you have? You have the derivative of ln. Take a look. The ln of x plus 5 divided by x derivative u prime, which is the derivative of x plus 5 over x derivative over x plus 5 over x. So for the numerator, you have to use the quotient rule. This guy becomes the derivative of x plus 5, which is 1 times x minus the derivative of x times x plus 5 over x squared. And this guy is divided by x plus 5 over x, the derivative of ln of u, u prime over u. Your u is this x plus 5 over x. So that's why you wrote down the derivative of the x plus 5 over x on the numerator divided by the denominator, which is u itself, x plus 5 over x. Now simplify. You get x minus x minus 5, so you have negative 5 over x squared divided by x plus 5 over x, which is basically, you can simplify this time, get um, negative 5 divided by x times x plus 5. So let me write this guy down here. ln of y becomes the limit of, my numerator is nothing but negative 5 over 
x times x plus y. And on the denominator, I have the derivative of 1 over x, which is negative 1 over x squared. And x approaches infinity. Simplify this guy. You can cancel out 1x and the exponent here, negative, negative, positive. So you get 5x divided by x plus 5, taking the limit as x approaches infinity, which is 5 divided by 1 or 5. So what happened? The limit of ln of y as x approaches infinity is 5. So since ln of y is 5, y is e to power 5. This guy is e to the power 